Alright, Frontal Blessings, we're back with another video. Alright, before we begin, a couple quick announcements. Uh, again, most important thing on the agenda right now is the 7th Annual Journey of the Black Adept Conference. That's getting ready to take place uh, from Thursday, October 31st uh, until Sunday, November 3rd. Uh, we will kick it off. Excuse me. We will kick it off on Thursday, uh, opening the conference with a ritual in the graveyard, followed by a uh, meet and greet, coffee and donut meet and greet at Dandy Donut. So you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna be disappointed with the Dandy Donut. Uh, so we're gonna change it up this year, uh, a little bit different from what we've done in past years. Uh, and then on Friday and Saturday, we have classes, workshops, and presentations, speakers from 9 to 4 p.m. and then we will be doing a group ritual followed by a group dinner on both nights, Friday and Saturday night. And then Sunday I'll finish out the conference with a question and answer session from noon to 4 p.m. Uh, and that'll wrap up the seventh annual Journey of the Black Adam Conference here again. It felt like we uh, wasn't too long ago we did the last one. All right, uh, if you're interested in a spiritual reading or a consultation, reach out to me. I offer various different types of readings, Clopathic Demonic readings, uh, Santa Muerte readings, Egyptian Oracle readings, Shadow Work readings, Deity readings, to see what spirits, gods, goddesses, and demons walk with you. Maybe you're just interested in a spiritual consultation. Um, maybe you want to just focus on a specific area of the path, or maybe you just have a bunch of questions you want to ask about the occult or the left-hand path, and you want to pick my brain for an hour. Uh, feel free to use a consultation for any of the aforementioned. All right, so if you're interested in any a reading or a consultation, shoot me an email at khnum19 at gmail.com. Please include in the, in the email your full weekly availability along with the time zone that you live in, and we'll set up something that works for both of us. All right. Uh, also, um, don't forget to check out the Primordial Chaos Patreon page to sign up for classes. Okay, that's the way you sign up for the classes. Uh, I got a bunch of ongoing classes right now. Luciferian magic and uh, sorcery class, Clopothic. Uh, uh, we have a Clipoth class going on right now. We have a necromancy and dark witchcraft class, ancient Egyptian vampiric class, Kundalini meditation and awakening class, shadow work class, uh, Sith alchemy and dark side philosophy class, Norse mythology, left hand path and runes class. Uh, Esoterical occult Bible study class we got going on right now. Uh, I mean, you name it. Uh, the list goes on. That's just something I could rattle off at the top of my head. We're adding a new class next month. Uh, Hermetic Egyptian Alchemy class. Uh, I think you guys will be... Um, that, that class is going to be good. Um, something I enjoy doing. I might call it Egyptian Hekka. I'm not sure. Well, it, it, it'll be the new class for the month of October. Uh, to see all the classes, go to the Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Beniti, B-A-N-I-T-I. When you go to the collections page, you will see in the collection sections, everything is uh, in numerical order and categorized, and you'll be able to see every ongoing class that's going on right now with classes being added frequently. Also, when you date from the time you join, just, just doesn't give you access from the day you join moving forward. You also get access to everything in the archives going five years back. Uh, so check it out, patreon.com forward slash Beniti, B-A-N-I-T-I. Tier 3 is the tier you want to join. That's the tier I do three private classes on every month, including a group ritual with the, with the, with the uh, Patreon family members. That's the way to get in, so check it out. Also, don't forget to check out the social media pages. Uh, Primordial Chaos 9 on Instagram. Primordial Chaos, two words on Facebook. PrimordialChaos3.com on TikTok. That's the best way to stay abreast of everything that I'm doing here at Primordial Chaos. Um, also, don't forget to check out the Primordial Chaos podcast available on Spotify and all major podcast platforms. The direct link to the podcast, my contact email address, the direct link to the social media pages, uh, also the direct link for the Primordial Chaos Patreon page to sign up for classes. All of those links are in the description box of this video you're watching right now. It's going to be a quick one. Uh, don't be distracted, people, because they're at it again. When I say they're at it again, I'm talking about the powers that be that have an agenda. I just want to make that clear when I say they. I don't want to make it sound like it, some spooky. I'm talking about your politicians, the government, political and, and, and 
religious authority and and you, you name it. Those are all those who have an agenda. There's a lot of fuckery going on right now. A lot of shit going on in the news that they're keeping you distracted. This is the only time I point out and reference the news because it just always seems like when crazy shit is going on, people tend to reach out to me and email me. So I always have to address it every now and then. Stay the course. It has nothing to do with you. It's a distraction. What am I talking about? Well, you got this upcoming election that they're distracting you with, obviously. Uh, you know, the, a, a second recently in the last week or so, another assassination attempt on Donald Trump. You got all this ditty shit going on, which everybody is just sucked into it, okay? You know, they did crazy shit. They just tried, oh, we raided his house. Yeah, well, first of all, I just, I just, I, I, look, like R. Kelly, I, I want to make this shit clear to some people, okay? Like R. Kelly, like Prince, like Michael Jackson, like Whitney Houston, Okay, what you people got to do is see the bigger picture. They distracted now. As far as Diddy is concerned, there's obvious evidence this man's this man got some issues. Okay, but a thousand bodies of a thousand bottles of baby oil. What the fuck are you doing with a thousand bottles of baby? If that shit is true. Okay, so what happened? Bill Cosby. All these people. What happens is they when they find something, and and I do believe all of them did to a degree what they were accused of but then there's a lot of bullshit that gets piled on people trying to get paid people that got agendas people that got angles because everybody's gonna want a piece of the piece of the pie now but you got to look at the bigger picture because this is how they fucking distract you okay go back and i'm just telling you if you if you really look at the bigger picture you'll see some things that don't sit right i've always said this with michael jackson okay one I, this is me speaking, this is my opinion. You don't have to agree with it. I want to make that clear. So I don't need nobody trying to say, oh, that's not the case. I clearly just said, this is my opinion and, and, and based on me doing my research. I don't think Michael Jackson touched not damn near one of them kids. Okay, I do believe Mike had some psychological issues because of the abuse he suffered from his father. And he was very mentally in a mind state where he thought he was child, like a child. First of all, nobody questions... Why Why the parents let those kids sleep over a grown man's house? That's number one. How come nobody's pointing fingers at the parents? I know I'm not allowing my child to sleep over a grown man's house. And I believe Mike didn't believe he was doing anything wrong. Never Neverland. I mean, just look at Never Neverland. The man was being repressed. He did not, couldn't leave that childlike state because I don't believe he ever really had a true childhood. Remember, he was forced to perform. Uh, uh, the father was crazy. I mean, he didn't never really had a normal childhood. He started performing at a very young age. And I think they tried to set Mike, Michael Jackson up and, you know, we, we saw what happened. So my, my thought, and I'm going to tell you why I'm getting to this to get to Diddy. My thought on that whole thing simply is, I'm going to tell you two things. When you control your music and you own your masters and catalogs of other great groups like the Beatles and Elvis... Right, and then obviously, you know, sacrilege what he did marrying Elvis's daughter, but it really at the end of the day comes down to money. Okay, artists like Mike owned his masters, owned his music, and that's generational wealth, especially for these record companies and execs. They 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 sign these artists, pay them in the moment, but wind up owning all of their catalog and their material, and live off it for generations. And it's fishy, the death of Michael Jackson, his doctor, his minister, and his man. Just too much fishy shit there and the timing of it all. Okay? So I'm, my opinion is Mike was killed because he owned his catalog. And it was either the Beatles or Elvis at the time. He, I mean, And that's like sacrilege. And then marrying, marrying Elvis's daughter? Come on, man. Guys, put one and one together. And then all of a sudden he gets taken out. Whitney Houston, same boat. Clive Barker, Clive Davis, whatever his, I think it's Clive Davis. He's he's a fucking the dude is shady from get go. Has been a, been been involved in a bunch of shady shit for years. Yet there's also look into the owning of the rights of, of, of Whitney Houston's music, the catalog. Then after she transitioned on, he promised Jennifer Hudson that she would be the next great Whitney Houston, and that hasn't happened. I'm trying to get you to see point two. 
It's about owning catalog, generational wealth. Don't let them distract you with the drug overdose and the drugs and, and all of the mundane shit that was going on. That's the distraction. Okay, let's fast forward to Prince. Same thing. We're dealing with drugs, uh, overdose, something went wrong. Notice the pattern now. R. Kelly's going to be a little different. I'm going to tell you why. Notice the pattern, Prince. Look at a lot of the last interviews and videos that Prince did and listen to what he was talking about. Ownership, owning your catalog, rights to your music. We saw what went down when the trademark thing came through with his name, they changed it to a symbol, and he was on top of his business. So they saw they couldn't control him no more. And we're talking about mega stars that transcend decades, right? When you talk about Michael Jackson, Prince, and Whitney Houston, these were artists that started in the 80s and were relevant here in the late 2000s, right? We're not talking about uh, an artist that was just hot for a quick moment, a couple of years, uh, one hit wonders. We're talking about artists that have years worth of catalogs of music from the 80s to the present day. Come on, man. They take Prince out, okay? And I'm saying they take, took him out. Okay, and you don't have to come, well, there's no proof of that and you're making that up. I said it's my opinion when I put one and one together. You don't have to agree with it. Okay? It's just too coincidental. Speed up to R. Kelly. Now, R. Kelly's a little different because they were plotting on R. Kelly because they had to figure out how to get him, but he made it too easy. Because all, all the fuckery he was doing, he couldn't keep his dick in his pants and couldn't stay away from little girls. Okay? And if you look at right around the time that happened, and this is fact check, you can go look. R. Kelly was getting ready to own all his masters and his catalog. They couldn't have it. Boom. But he made it easy for them. Let's swoop in. Let's get federal indictments on him. Let's get him for, you know, porn, uh, pedophilia, pornography, sex trafficking, the whole nine. And he'll never get out of there because he's got, he's got charges in multiple states. As soon as he walks out, of one prison, there'll be somebody else there to snatch. So he's done. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter, period. He can appeal. He can do whatever he wants. He's done. He wouldn't even be able to serve the amount of years and be alive to still serve the amount of years. So they got his ass. Now let's take it to Dumb Diddy. Diddy Dumb Dumb. Okay? Diddy was a little reverse because he was trying to hoard a lot of artists, masters. And this is how he's become rich. In addition to some of the artists he already controlled, we we know the history of artists he let go. Like, uh, man, the girl group, they, they, they've been having issues with him for years, drawing a blank, that he had in the 90s. Uh, uh, he took all their money. Uh, making the band artists that he prompted, took all their money. Mace, Craig Mack, Biggie Smalls. I mean, I mean, you talking about generational wealth. That's like, that. that's almost as like having gold from Fort, all the gold in Fort Knox. People don't understand the residuals you get off of that shit. You could feed your kids, kids, kids if you own those type of rights to that type of stuff. Hence the Elvis, the Beatles catalog, the Michael Jackson catalog. When you got ownership of that type of shit, you can sit back. That's like having stocks just making money for you. So Diddy opened the door with his crazy ass and everything he got happened, first of all, all I needed to see was that video. I don't care what happened. Don't try to justify. We, I, we don't know what provoked that whole fight. But when he was dragging his ex-girlfriend, Cassie, in that video and beating her like a dog in the hall, that's a punk-ass bitch of a man. I'm sorry. Regardless of what went down, I know some people, well, you, we don't know what happened. We don't know, we don't know if she and Tyson, even if she did, you a fucking man. There's got to be a way for you to work out, out of that other than get to get to that point. Only excuse would be, if you were attacked with a weapon or your life was in imminent danger. But it don't look like that because it looks clearly on the video he was chasing her ass. So it clearly looks like she was getting away from him. So we know that's not the case. So if you want to stick up for him, you want to try to cover for him, you want to try to find a reason not to accept it, that shit is on you. But he opened the door. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to tell you people, don't get distracted with this ditty shit. This Trump shit, the election, all the shit you got going on in the news, all the crazy shit, uh, you know, all the stuff they're trying to feed you, uh, and obviously something huge now. Look how right before the election now, tensions are escalating again with Palestine and Israel. 
right? You guys have seen, you know, they're, 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 they're these handheld radios and pages and phones, right? Uh, the, the Israelis have found a way to put bombs in these things. Uh, I, I mean, the timing of everything. And if you noticed, in most parts of the country too, notice how gas has dropped, okay? They do shit for a reason, people. See beyond the distraction. Don't get caught up in the story shit of it. Oh, what? I don't care about none of that shit in the sense how people who gossip and are into all that Hollywood gossip. Look, you know all those motherfuckers are into some weird freaky shit. Why does it always act like news? And now, now, now the thing that's popping up look like they're going after Jay Z now. Now they're they're, they're, they're saying Jay Z has left the country because apparently they've uncovered other shit in their searches and their raids. Are we surprised? No. No, I mean, I'm sure you're going to hear and it's going to come out. There's going to be motherfucking politicians on that list. Famous entertainers, movie stars, musicians, artists. Why are people acting so surprised? I'm sure they got some dirt on Jay-Z. I mean, it's obvious they were partners. They were close to a degree. They were friends. They had a partnership in Sarat. We know. Come on. But see, that's not what you should be caring about. What you should be looking at, the bigger picture, what's going on beneath the scenes, or behind the scenes, as they say. That's what I want to know. I just find the timing of all this shit to be questionable. Okay, we got the Donald Trump assassination attempts. We got the presidential race itself as a whole. We got the, the distraction with Kamala's dumb, crazy ass. Okay? Okay. We got the shit going on with Diddy. We got the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. We still got the shit going on in Ukraine. Right? Notice how things escalate and pick up. And even the uh, uh, the, the Russian-Ukraine war has escalated again with more recent attacks. And, and the timing of it is all suspect. Somebody wants to keep you distracted and to feed off of your emotions through fear and sensationalism to one, obviously part of the plan is to influence the elections and who you vote for. So they're trying to influence the outcome of the elections. That's obvious, right? But the reality of this as a whole and the bigger picture we need to see as practitioners on the path, this is what I said when I said this going, you're going to have challenges, you're going to have obstacles to overcome. Don't get sucked in and distracted by it. That's my whole point. Because... If you do, then the only individual you're hurting, the only individual you're defeating from accomplishing their goals is yourself, okay? I get this all the time over the years when shit pops off in the news, something goes down. No matter how many times I say it, on, on, on whether it's on YouTube or in classes, please don't reach out to me and go, oh, hey, Benny, where did you see that thing on the news, such and such, and blah, blah, what did you think of that? I don't. The only thing I'm thinking about is not to let that bullshit distract me and get sucked in. And it's obvious it is because now all you got to do is turn on YouTube and everybody's talking about the whole Diddy shit. And it's not that I have a problem with them talking about it. They're talking about it for all the wrong reasons. Sensationalizing it. Trying to get clickbait for views. Talking about all the gossip and the slander. And I get it. You can go beneath. Well, that's what some people do. That's what entertainment is about. This, that. I get it. That's if you fall into that category of spectrum, then that's for you. But I'm saying, as for me, reaching out to me, that's not, that's not my area of interest at all. Okay? It's all a distraction, people. Don't let them bullshit you. Okay? It's done intentionally. Look at the bigger picture again. Let me say this again before I wrap this video up. Look at the bigger picture, people. It's always more, that old saying, there's always more than meets the eye. It's never what it looks at, looks like on the surface. Trust me when I tell you. Look at the timing of all these events. Go back and look at the history. If you really sit there and meditate and reflect on what I told you about Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, Prince, R. Kelly, Diddy, and Jay-Z will be next. Right? Also, also look at because he's one of the wealthiest uh, individuals in the in this country, okay. He's in Forbes. I forgot where he's ranked. It's, it's about money and power at the end of the day. 
Same thing, look what Diddy's work. Look at all the people that they go after because they have, even though, look, and I want to make this clear, I'm not justifying and say some of the crimes these people uh, are being accused of that they're innocent. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is don't, let's, let's be clear, they're not going after these people just for that. Okay? There's a, always a greater motive when you look at, again, the bigger picture. Okay? So, again, don't be distracted. Stay focused on your work. Do what you need to do for yourself. Accomplish your goals. It doesn't change a damn thing. But pay attention to what's going on around you. Okay? Because I told you guys, again, I've said this throughout the year. I said it going back to the end of the year of last year's class coming into this year. I told you this was the year one. It's going to escalate of people being exposed. For those that were there, I called this shit. So I'm sure many others did too, not just me. I told you this was going to be one of the things I told you. It was going to be the year of death. I told the dispersion of the raven, if you understand that in the clip pop. Death on all levels, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, and financially. And this was the year that a lot of shit's going to come to the surface and a lot of these people were going to be exposed. That's what I mean when I said a few minutes ago, why are we acting surprised? They're only doing who they're only doing and becoming who they're supposed to be. You can't be mad at them for being who they are. We know a lot of these motherfuckers are into crazy shit. We know there was a lot of shady shit going down. We know Hollywood is corrupt and scandalous. We know the music industry is, is corrupt and scandalous. Why is when shit pop off like this, some people act so shocked and surprised? It's a shady, dirty business. It always has been, it always will be. Okay? So don't get distracted by the bullshit. Stay firm on your square. Be the center and axis of your multiverse. And don't let none of this fuckery get to you because at the end of the day, life goes on. You got to continue to live, grow, accomplish your goals. And you can't worry about the next motherfucker that's doing stupid shit and getting themselves in trouble. That's on them. All right? So hopefully this short tutorial, quick video helped you. Again, if you need to reach out to me for a spiritual reading or a consultation, if you want to sign up for the 7th Annual Journey of the Black Adept Conference, need the links to the social media pages, uh, the podcast, the direct link to the Primordial Chaos Patreon page for classes, all of those links are in the description box of this video you're watching right now. Other than that, that's going to do it for me. I'm out of here, Infernal Blessings, and we'll talk soon.